Hello, so we are going to be graphing parabolas in standard form. Graphing parabolas in standard form. Um, when we are graphing parabolas in standard form, we gotta talk about our vertex, and then we gotta talk about making a table and plotting some points. Uh, so if you need some paper, get some notes, and let's get into it. Math with the speed. Math with Miss B, there's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So the first thing that you want to pay attention to is you want to pay attention to the fact that uh, every parabola has a vertex. And the, in this case, the vertex is a minimum because it's a low point. And it, so that means that A is positive. So A is the first number leading, the leading coefficient, let me not call it the first number, it's the leading coefficient um, in a quadratic, right? And then you have other types of parabolas that are upside down, okay? So this one would have a maximum, okay? And uh, that maximum is a high point, and this means that A is negative. So A is positive for the first one, A is negative for this one. How to find the vertex of a parabola. So if you're in my class, you learned vertex form first, which looks like that, and finding the vertex is easy. It's just H and K. However, in this case, we're doing standard form, so that's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and finding the vertex is a little bit more difficult, okay? So for vertex form, it's just h and k, but for standard form, x equals negative b over 2a, so it's a little formula that you gotta plug in, right? And then once you plug that in, you, you, whatever answer you get for the first part, you plug it into the equation and solve, and that will give you the y value of your coordinate. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. So we're gonna find four vertices, four vertexes, vertices, I don't know. <laughs> so in this case, how do you find the vertex of a parabola? Okay, so I have y equals negative x squared minus 14x minus 59. So I'm going to say x equals negative b over 2a. So a equals negative one, b equals negative 14. And we're going to plug them in, okay? So when I'm plugging them in, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna say x equals negative, negative 14, because b in this case is gonna be negative 14, right? There was already a negative in the uh, little formula. So I have the negative, and then inside, because the 14 in the problem was negative, that makes that I have two negatives right now. So negative, negative 14 over two times negative one. So negative, negative 14, a negative, and a negative makes a what? Yeah, okay, so positive over two times negative one, which is negative two. So 14 over negative two is gonna give me negative seven. Hold that thought, right? So now I'm gonna take that negative seven, and I'm gonna plug it in. So we're gonna, into the original equation, instead of x's, we're going to go ahead and use negative seven. Don't forget to PEMDAS. You cannot, cannot, cannot forget to PEMDAS, okay? So when we PEMDAS, we do our exponent first and then you do some multiplication and simplify so our answer when we're done is going to be negative 7 comma negative 10. Booyah! So that's not that hard so before we make tables I want us to just focus on figuring out how to find the vertex of a parabola first and then we'll make our tables so the next three examples are the same thing we're just finding the vertex of the parabola. So again, y equals 2x squared plus 36x plus 170. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in a equals 2, b equals 36. We are going to plug them in. So negative 36 over 2 times 2. Negative 36 is still minus 36. It's still going to be negative 36. And then on the bottom, we're going to 2 times 2, which is... 4, 36 divided by 4, when we simplify, is going to get me negative 9. Okay, now that I have negative 9, I am going to what? Plug it in! Great. So into my original equation, instead of using x's, I'm going to use 9's. 
and we're gonna follow PEMDAS. Exponents first, then multiplication, then addition and subtraction from left to right. So my final answer is negative nine comma eight. Yeah! Look at y'all. Getting it done. I see you. Okay, two more. You should pause the video and do it on your own. See if you can figure it out. Anyway, hoping you pause the video. Okay, so A equals one, B equals four. So negative parentheses four over two times one. Negative four over two is gonna give me negative two. When I plug that in, you wanna do PEMDAS, exponents, then multiplication, simplify, negative two comma negative four is my answer. Okay, one more vertex. How to find the vertex of a parabola. Y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. You should pause the video, try it on your own. A equals 1, B equals negative 2. So negative, negative 2, remember, if the number in the problem is negative, you got to bring that negative into the little formula. So two negatives make a positive over two times one, which is two, two over two equals one. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and plug this in to the original equation. Remember to do your order of operations. Multiplication first, then addition, and, I mean, sorry, exponents first, then multiplication, then addition and subtraction from left to right. So my final answer is one comma negative six. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you find the vertex of a parabola in a nutshell. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna how do I make how to make a table and graph a parabola. So it's the same four examples that we just did. Now we're ju I'm just gonna finish by making the tables. Okay. So the first thing you always want to do is you always want to. Um, what were I doing maximum or minimum first for? Oh, because you should know that if it's a maximum or minimum based on whether or not the A value is positive or negative. This uh, problem has a negative in front of the X squared, which means A is negative, and when A is negative, you have a maximum. Okay, so let's make a table. You always wanna put your vertex in the middle of the table. I cannot stress that enough because remember, the vertex is in the middle of the parabola. So you want it in the middle of the table. Make sense? Makes sense. You already found the vertex to this problem. It was the first problem that we did in this video, right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is negative seven is what my vertex was, the X value of my vertex, so there we go. Now, what comes after negative seven? Um, well, what's to the right of negative seven on a number line, negative six, and then to the right of negative six is negative five, and then negative eight, and then negative nine, okay? We're gonna plug those numbers into the original problem. We're gonna simplify using PEMDAS. I'm not doing all that for you. Use a calculator if your teacher lets you. Negative 14, okay? We're gonna plug in negative eight. You're gonna get negative 11. Negative seven, you already did the work for this. Uh, you already did the work for negative seven because you know what the vertex is, right? It was the first problem that we did. So without doing all the work, you should already know that that answer is gonna be negative 10. But if you wanted to double check yourself, you could do the work. You feel me? You feel me? Okay. When I plug in negative six, what am I going to get? Negative 11. Are you noticing a pattern? Are you noticing a pattern? What is this next number going to be? Negative 14, because remember, parabolas are symmetrical. So that means if you put that, if the vertex was in the middle, right, the two numbers to the left and the two numbers to the right should be matching. That's how parabolas work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plot our points. And when I plot those points, I'm gonna make a nice smooth parabola. Yeah. Very good, very nice. All right. Your domain, very important. All row numbers. It's always gonna be all row numbers. Your range 
is going to be y is less than or equal to negative 10. And in interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity. And my range is going to be negative infinity to 10, negative 10. Ta-da! Okay. Next problem, same thing. We already did this one, remember? So we got to decide, is it going to be a minimum or a maximum? What are you guys thinking? Is the A value positive or negative? That's the first thing you got to ask yourself. Is the A value positive or negative? It's positive. Look at you. That too is positive. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you. So if when, when the A value is positive, what does that mean? Does it mean it's a maximum or does it mean it's a minimum? Very good. Yay, you means it's the minimum. All right. So now we're looking at our vertex. Um, I'm filling in my table. My vertex, we already found the vertex. So it's negative nine. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the middle of the table. I cannot stress that enough. In the middle, 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 in the middle. And then find the two numbers to the right of nine on the, neg on the number line. And find the two numbers to the left of nine on the number line. Voila. Okay, we're gonna plug in each number. So when I plug in negative 11, we do PEMDAS, I get 16. I plug in 10, PEMDAS, I get 10. I plug in negative nine, I already know the answer because I already found the vertex. What number goes with negative nine? Eight, we already did this, so don't do too much work. And what did I just tell you? If parabolas are symmetrical, if they are symmetrical, what does that mean this next y value is going to be? 10. And the last one should be 16. Very good. So we're going to plot our points. This one looking a little skinty. Swoop. Voila. Okay, we got to talk about our domain and our range. What's our domain of a parabola? Always, always, always. All real numbers. What is the range? You want to look at your vertex for your range, right? The y value of the vertex is 8, so it's y is greater than or equal to 8. It's greater than because it's going up. In interval notation, we have negative infinity to positive infinity representing all real numbers, and our range is going to be 8 to infinity. Okay, two more examples. I suggest you pause the video, see if you can fill in the tables on your own. I'm gonna speed through these. Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, is it a minimum or a maximum? The A value is positive, so that means it's a minimum. We're gonna go ahead and fill in our table. The X value is gonna be negative two. The two numbers to the right of negative two are negative one and zero. To the left are negative 3 and negative 4. So we're plugging in our numbers, simplifying. You already plugged in negative 2, so don't be crazy. And the other two should match, right? Because it's a parabola and it's symmetrical. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Okay? So now let's plot our point. Very good. And when I do that, I get a nice smooth curve. Okay, let's talk about your domain. What's the domain of a parabola? All real numbers all the time. What's the range? Remember the range, you wanna look at the y value of the vertex. Y is greater than or equal to negative four. Why is it greater than? Because it's pointing up. Interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity, um, negative 4 to infinity is my range sorry all right last one again you should pause the video pause the video pause the video minimum or maximum Filling out our table, what goes in the middle of the table? 
the vertex. One. Two numbers to the right, two and three. Two numbers to the left, zero and negative one. Plugging them in and doing PEMDAS, negative one squared is one. Minus two times negative one is plus two. So I have one plus two, which is three. Minus five is gonna give me negative two. Plug in zero. Zero squared is zero. Minus two times zero is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. Plug in your vertex, but you already know the answer because we did it already. Okay, negative six. And then the other two should match if I'm doing my math correctly. I should plot my points. Ooh, ta-da. Domain, all row numbers, no matter what. Range, y is greater than or equal to negative six. Why is it greater than or equal to? Because it's pointing up. If it was pointing down, it would be less than or equal to. And you always look at the y value of your vertex. Uh, interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity. Um, range is gonna be negative six to positive infinity. Because you always wanna go at least to greatest. And that's it. You learned how to graph a parabola in standard form. I hope that was helpful. You should go back to the video, see if you could do it on your own without my help. Uh, you should tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your auntie, tell your cousins, best friends, grandma, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in the next one.